Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna do another foundation review. This time it is a high street slash drugstore foundation. So therefore I'm hoping it's a lot more affordable to a lot of you. And yeah, I think I've done enough high end foundation reviews and I want to see what else is out there or what's kind of gonna compete with the high end foundations. So this particular foundation called my eye um i didn't even know i don't know where i've been because they actually have a really solid and really interesting and brilliant campaign i think on social media and that is sleek i only came across the kind of um board marketing board what do you call it promotion board in boots by chance because i had actually gone in there to get another um essie nail polish and I'd also gone gone in there to look for the NYX foundation the drop like the total drops one I think it is full coverage one they didn't have that and I'm kind of glad because you guys have probably seen a lot of that I've not seen it I've not really used it but anyway I came across the sleek one basically and um, yeah that's what I'm gonna review today so this is the foundation this is what it looks like um, it's really simple packaging it's what I would expect from the drugstore and I got the shade LP07 now the thing that struck me and I've mentioned it on my Instagram story as well the thing that struck me about um, the display and the foundations was I could see visually like there were a lot of shades more than I guess I'm used to seeing from a like, kind of a boots or drugstore brand um, and I've never actually tried a sleek foundation before. I don't know if they've actually, oh yes, no, I'm lying. I have tried a sleek foundation. It was the one, it used to be in like a square compact. I think it was called Bamboo Foundation and I bloody loved it because it was just, I just remember it, it was very dewy. Um, I used to wear that a lot. I don't know if they do that one anymore actually. Um, but yeah, the thing that struck me was the ton of foundation shades. I believe they've got 24 25 foundation shades. I'll put a link to their website below where you can just read all about this foundation. Fair, light, medium, medium, deep and deep. So um, and then they've got foundations in each category. So I think mine was, I think um, I've got the one LP07 and I think this was under medium deep I think. So um, yeah, the only thing I would say is, like with all foundations that do well in the drugstore, testers are really hard to come by, so I wasn't able to actually get a tester of this foundation and actually test it, but I could test, I was able to test the shade lighter than this and the shade two shades deeper, so I just winged it and I just went with this one. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender to apply it. Um, as well as my fingers. I might do, maybe I'll do Beauty Blender on one side and fingers on the other. Um, just because I feel like brushes, not everyone has the same foundation brush, not everyone uses the same brushes, so fingers and Beauty Blender I feel like are quite popular, so that's what I'm going to do. So my skin is already moisturised, um, I just used, what did I use? I used my Oil of Olay because it's here and my brows are already filled in. I've actually been using and obsessed with this elf brow pencil ever since I got it. It's the brow pencil and I don't know what shade it is. Um, just for information it's called the Life Proof Foundation and the campaign they've actually done on social media Instagram is really cool. Lasting, it's meant to have like soft focus, blurring technologies. I feel I've read that it's kind of comparable to Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. And the finish of this foundation is meant to be kind of velvet, velvet, like a velvety finish. Um, what that means is just, it's just meant to look, I think, really smooth, um, help your skin look really smoothed out. I think I did pretty well with Colour Match. Um, that is really, a really, really good colour match. I mean, I'm comparing to the Elf video you guys just saw, so. <laughs> That was really bad. When I was editing, I was like, oh my god, please stop. 
So this is I've I've this is a thing with Beauty Blender. It does soak up a lot of the product. It does give you a more of a natural finish using a Beauty Blender. I feel because it does because it's damp and it's a sponge. It kind of spreads the product a little bit more and it kind of blends it out a little bit more and soaks away kind of some of the excess. Um, but then it kind of leaves such a natural finish. So what I'm gonna do, so I feel like that pump would have done me fine in any other foundation. So what I'm gonna do, just to be fair, I'm gonna make sure, put the same amount, and I'm gonna do this side with my fingers. It's actually like a, um, kind of like a thicker cream consistency it's not like a gel consistency but it feels um, it doesn't feel cheap is what I'm trying to say like it's not overly runny and there's no obvious scent I can't smell anything which is good Bridge. So I feel, you can, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's a little bit more coverage where I've used my fingers than where I've used the Beauty Blender, but um, it says it's medium to full buildable coverage. So at the minute, definitely medium. So I guess, so I guess if you want more coverage than this, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the purpose of this video. So this note, this is like now my third pump of this. I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna keep taking, I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender again. Finish show the foundation as well, you can see there's a little sheen there and I've not put anything that's kind of like glowy or highlighter, any highlighter products underneath. So it's got kind of like a nice, um, I wouldn't even say velvet, but like a nice satin finish to it, which you guys know I love. I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender on this side now. Some concealer, this is the uh, Smashbox concealer, it's the 24 hour one that I always use. Concealer on, so that's what it looks like with concealer. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. I'm going to do that. Um, that's actually going to be Instagram videos. I'm going to be back and then we can talk about the foundation. I did set um, my under eyes with, just so you guys know, I set it with the Soap and Glory powder. I've had this foundation on now about an hour. I have to say, so far, I really, really, really love this foundation. Um, I think what I like about it most is probably the one thing that I was dreading the most, and that's the colour and the undertone, because drugstore foundations are like notorious if you're kind of, you know, my skin tone or darker. It's They're just notorious for making you look ashy or too pink, um, but I think this is pretty much the best foundation match I've ever had in the drugstore and actually to be honest this is very very similar to my um, Giorgio Armani and my Sheer Glow which are probably like the foundations from my high-end foundations that match me the best and um, I can honestly say this definitely is a really good match. I'm just looking down here at the mirror. So if you don't have a problem with finding your foundation shade in the high street, in terms of the other things I've seen from this foundation, I feel like here, where I've been like moaning a lot about my um, the texture here and my pores, I feel like it has kind of sat in those pores and kind of smoothed them, smoothed them over. What am I struggling to say smoothed? Smoothed them over. So um, it's less textured. Man, it looks so crazy right now. Um, it's less textured here in this area. And also by now, the foundation has been on an hour. By now, my foundation would be sitting quite heavily in, uh, quite heavily in this, in my like frown lines here. Um, it's not too bad, so. Take some, I'm going to take some pictures with this foundation, I'll pop those on my Instagram as well so you guys can see and um, obviously you'll be able to tell from the thumbnail as well how it photographs but um, I did do a flash test and I didn't get any kind of 
harsh obvious flashback which is great is definitely a medium coverage foundation i would say that i i mean you guys saw another one i think i did a total of three kind of piece like large pea sized amounts um, in order to do my idea of full coverage for some of you this may not be full coverage and for others this may be you know maybe full coverage or maybe way over so everyone's idea of full coverage i think is very different for me um once my little beauty spot like i mentioned starts to disappear here i feel like that's the like that's as much full coverage as i would normally go so yeah and the finish i do have the highlighter on now but the finish was like i showed you guys it is a satin finish so it's kind of like a semi matte finish i think this would still be ideal for those of you who have more quite an oilier skin and also I'm dry and dehydrated and I don't feel any like discomfort it doesn't feel tight um, and I like that it hasn't made my already kind of like dull skin um, look kind of even more dull or dry and then it just looks even I just look even older this retails at $8.99 um, I got this when Boots were doing a three for two. Um, I actually think this was one of the foundations, uh, one of the products that was free because I was buying some skincare bits, which I think were a little bit more. So I actually managed, <laughs> I actually got this one for free, which is amazing. Yeah, the um, I will leave the links to the website below because I think they've also got their kind of campaign on there, which is I think is My Face, My Rules. It's an amazing campaign and it's all about like, just do what you want in terms of beauty, defining beauty, in terms of makeup and I guess makeup shaming and which I think is so easy to do because makeup has become such a huge thing thanks to Instagram and YouTube it's like makeup's just become huge and such a personal thing it's just like for me it's like like a football like it just <laughs> unites it unites so many people and I think with Instagram and with social media there is obviously like if you go under anyone who's remotely popular who does makeup and is just trying to share and inspire when it comes to makeup there's just always just negative comments about your brows are too thick or you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't wear this lip colour or whatever so I think that whole notion I love the fact that Salique have tapped into that being some kind of awareness to that topic because it's such a niche topic that possibly many people don't think about or think about the scrutiny in that area but yeah anyway um so so far I love this foundation I will do like an updated review um, or an update on my Instagram at some point just to let you guys know how this foundation is working for me kind of like on a day-to-day -day. my hair looks crazy on a um, oh that's better um, how this foundation <laughs> looks on a day-to-day -day. so I will hopefully so I'll be using this during the week my work week because um, We'll see how it fares kind of on a kind of nine, ten hour day. That's it uh, for the review. Uh, please let me know if you enjoyed it. Please let me know what other videos you want to see. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go. Bye.